Hello everyone. Welcome to the welcome to the channel. To understand the concepts very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Today we are gonna see the character functions part three, which gonna explain about extracting a part of a string. Let's take an example. If you are working in finance industry, for example, credit card. So these kind of credit card numbers you get, which are in sixteen digits in length, which are sixteen, uh, I mean characters in length. If you take account, it will be sixteen. Now, uh, if you, if you have seen the statements, credit card statements, or in most of the places, you are, you don't get the full length of credit card numbers. You get just last four digits. So what if you have been asked to do this thing? How you gonna separate just last four digit or maybe any part of a text string? For example, you have been asked to separate all these three. You have been asked to separate all these two, or any part of a string. If you have to separate, how you gonna do that? Okay, think of a scenario when you have to do this thing in Excel. Here is the Excel file where you have the card number. Now to do that. Thing you simply use mid function. All right, select the cell which contains the text, and then you provide the number where it starts from. Where you want to separate that part of a string. So that start from twelfth position, and how many characters you want to separate? Just four characters. Then close the bracket and then hit enter. Copy this thing and paste in all the cells. So this is how you get the Last four digit from a given string, right? Or maybe whatever you want. You just put mid, select the text, put from wherever you want to start the extraction. For example, fifth. You want to take fifth character, five characters. Just do that because that was in text format. So I had to do that thing. All right. So now this is how you can achieve using the mid function. So how about in SAS? Don't worry. In SAS, we have sub str, which is stands for sub string. So for that, the syntax is quite identical to the mid. You just need to provide sub str, then the source. I mean the variable, which is card number, then a starting position, then the number of characters you want to separate. Let's look at the practical example. So here we have the data. Let's run this. So here you get the card numbers. Now let's try to extract that. So here we have done that previously, but now let's try doing it practically. Data sample, then set cards info, and then create a another variable. Create an another variable which is last digits. All right, and put. Sub str. Then provide the character character variable name, which is card number. Then provide the position from where it starts, twelfth position. Then provide the number of characters you want to separate. These many characters you want to separate. Then put run. Select the statement and hit the run button. You can see this is how you can separate this. So this is how you can use the sub str to separate any part of a string. Let's look at another example of sub str. What else can we achieve from sub str? So for example, you have been given a card number like this. Now when you if you hold a credit card and when you get the statement, you don't get the full credit card number into that. Or maybe at many of the places you would see the credit card numbers are printed like this. Meaning Initial four digits are printed and the last four digits are printed, but in between all the characters are masked. So with any character, with any alphabet, you can do this thing, and this thing you can achieve using sub str. Let's the, this part you can achieve using sub str. Let's have a look on the example how we can do that. All right, so let's type. Sub str. Put the variable in. 
sorry card number and then the number of digits you want to start from i want to start from fifth position and then i want to end it till 12th position all right and what is it that we want to put here it has used x now i'm going to put 8 times star 4 5 6 7 8 then semicolon and run this oops something went wrong let's look on this what's wrong with this it starts from fifth position and oops it has to just replace eight characters not till twelfth position so we have to provide the starting position and then the number of characters you want to replace so we want to start from here and we want to replace it till here so these are eight in numbers all right so now you run this here you can see the in between digits have been replaced with star so this is how you can use substring function in your sas projects all right now the second thing which we're gonna cover today are the change cases functions for example if you have been given some name something like this all right and you want to convert that something like this in all in capital letters or you want to convert that something like this meaning first letter is capital the rest of the characters are small so first let's understand what is it called what is it called when everything is in small this is called lower case this is called capital case or maybe up case this is called prop case so let's go one by one this one is the low case statement this one is the up case this one is the prop case and these are the function names the same function name you can use let's have a look so here we are creating a data named sample now we have the data you can see this is in small letter this is in small letter this is in, these all are in capital letters now let's go and try changing the case of all of these things all right here i have done it previously now i'm going to show you a practical example data change case set sample and then so the first in first it these all are in small so let's convert that into uppercase i mean in capital letter all capitals okay and for that you need to use upcase and provide the variable name end the statement with a semicolon sorry and then hit the run button now see the result all right now let's try and converting all of these value in small letters again how we can do that small small all right low case this time we're going to use and this time we're going to use this variable rather using the name variable because name variable contains already the characters which are in small letters all right now you look at this all of them are converted again to the small letters now let's try the prop case where it will capitalize just first letter of every value all right sentence in general we call them sentence case so i'm just putting here sentence and the formula which you're gonna use prop case is prop case all right again i'm going to try the capitals variable for this because that was in that was having value all in capital so which will make more sense you can try any of them all right now you can see here all the letters were in capital and now the, only the initial letters are in capital all right hope you understand this so this is how you can use sub str and the change case functions in sas to achieve your goal thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck